Hi, this is John at Apollo Sprayers. Today we're going to learn how to disassemble the 5000 series spray gun. And I've got two of them here with us. I've got the 5011, which is the one quart cup version, and I have our 5020, which is the eight ounce airbrush cup version. Both, guns, both gun bodies are exactly the same. The only difference is the cup assembly. So let's get started. So when disassembling the 5000 series spray gun, the first thing we want to do is remove the cup assembly. So <clears throat> make sure you have no material or any materials inside the cup. So you can take that out, dump it out, clean out your cup. Next thing you want to do is remove the cup assembly from the cup, from the gun body itself. So for that, we'll need a, a standard adjustable wrench and <clears throat> just loosen off the nut. Once you've got the nut loosed, you can just grab the plastic tube and pull that off. And then you can remove the tube from the fitting as well. And that'll leave you with the air feed tube and a, uh, the one-way valve that goes in the middle. Now this allows the air to go one way into the cup assembly and prevents your material from going back up into the cup. Uh, so this is very important to make sure that you get the valve in the right way. So there's one end of the valve that's coned and one end of the valve that's flat. Always make sure that the coned end of the valve is pointing towards the cup assembly. That denotes the, the direction of the airflow. So once you've got the cup assembly removed, we can now take apart the gun. So we'll take apart the gun, usually assemble, disassemble the gun from the back forward. So we're gonna take out the adjustment screw first, the spring behind that, then pull the trigger and the needle comes right out through the back of the gun. If it's a little too hard to pull out, then you can adjust this knot, uh, nut right here in the front using the gun wrench. And in fact, we'll go ahead and remove that anyway right now. So go ahead and put the wrench on there and remove the gland nut. And then inside the gland nut here, we have a seal. Now this seal doesn't come out unless you absolutely need to take it out. The only way to get it out is by damaging it. So under normal cleaning circumstances, you don't need to take that seal out at all. Uh, and for purposes of today, we're not going to. So the next thing I'm gonna do is remove the air cap and the air cap ring. And then I'll have a plate. That's the air distribution plate and the air distribution spring. That leaves me with the nozzle assembly. So now I can take my gun wrench and the angled end of the gun wrench fits onto the two tabs on the nozzle. Loosen that off and remove the nozzle. Behind the nozzle, there's one additional fiber washer. That's this little black seal here. So we wanna make sure that that's intact as well. The last thing to do is to remove the air feed tube. This is important in case you get some material up through that plastic tube. Sometimes it ends up on the air feed connector here and that can be clogged in the end here. So you want to always check that to make sure it's not clogged uh, because if your spray gun isn't working, uh, nine times out of 10, it's usually to do with this little part right here or your valve being clogged and no air pressure in your gun. So that concludes the disassembly of the 5000 series spray gun.